Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a everyday makeup tutorial. I've had quite a few of you ask for me to do an updated everyday makeup. So I thought I would do that. Um, obviously with this whole lockdown, I haven't really been wearing makeup. The only times I have is to film videos. So if I'm wearing makeup, this is what I'm wearing. In all my videos, this is the makeup that I'm wearing. I'm gonna try and make this not too long winded and like chatty. I just wanna show you what I use in case any of you are interested in how I get that sort of my look that makes sense so yeah let's just go ahead and get started and put some makeup on okay so i'm just going to keep this wardrobe door open because it's got all of my makeup in it so i always pin my hair back with my little disney hairband this just makes the, putting the makeup on so much easier okay so for my base i only ever really wear concealer so i use the Too faced born this way multi-use concealer and i've got a little bit of color on my face so i was sitting in the garden um when it was really hot out but i literally just use a tiny bit under my eyes i use the shade soft beige around my nose forehead down my nose and on my chin so recently i've just been trying to be obviously i can't really wear makeup anyways because we're not really going out but i also use a stippling brush just to push it into the skin i do like the way a beauty blender looks but i just find that i can't bother to go to the toilet and wet it so i don't I recently i just feel like i don't really want to wear a lot of makeup i just prefer the look of looking a bit more natural i don't know whether it's because i'm getting older and i just don't want to look i don't know i'm just trying to wear like less makeup and not look sort of as heavy or as glam all the time i guess i'm trying to just feel like a little bit more happier with just like how i look from my other everyday makeup tutorial a few months back i obviously had really big like heavy false eyelashes on um to be fair even in that video i didn't wear um yeah i didn't wear foundation either but obviously the eyelashes made everything look so much more intense and like glam so since i've had them off i've just been trying not to wear false eyelashes or stick any on i'm just trying to make my natural lashes like the best as possible and just wear less makeup and be a little bit more natural i guess yeah then i just spread it out obviously it depends what my skin's like if i'm having a little bit more problematic skin then i'll just put more on and i do sometimes wear foundation if i'm going like out out um which obviously is at the minute but for the whole i just like the way that concealer looks i find that when i put on foundation i feel like it just looks too masky even if it's like a lightweight coverage i just feel really intense whereas when i just put a bit of concealer on i feel like it still looks natural and um, yeah but this is my favorite concealer i don't tend to buy high-end makeup anymore but this i'm going to definitely repurchase when i run out and i've had it forever like it's just not running out i guess because i only use a little bit but yeah definitely recommend this concealer i'll also try and link down all the products that i mentioned down below in case you're interested in any of them so to set all the concealer in place i've been using the rcma no color powder so i have really really oily skin and this helps a little bit I wouldn't say it's like the best, um, but I don't feel like anything would be the best on my skin. I could just have the oiliest skin. So I'm just going to set under everything. And baking does help me a lot. If I'm going like actually out, I will bake. Um, and someone did comment that on one of my videos. I think that baking really helps the oily skin. But for every day, I just, I can't, I'm not baking every single day. I just couldn't be bothered. Um, so I just kind of quickly set this with a fluffy brush. I try to do everything really quickly because i just want everything to look really easy and not too sort of perfect or like perfected so really messily just kind of set everything so for bronzer i'm still using the same bronzer i use the nyx matte bronzer in the shade deep tan this is the darkest color but i find that the other colors aren't like intense enough so i just bronze my forehead like it's quite dark as you can see but once you blend it i feel like it looks fine and um, on my cheekbone as well i also like to put some on my nose i feel like it gives that sort of natural like you've caught color kind of look because i don't know i feel like for most people especially me i always catch color the most on my nose and just kind of blend it in everywhere <laughs> Okay, so once I've bronzed, I fill in my eyebrows. So I've nearly run out of this eyebrow pencil, so I'm hoping that I can like make it 
last for this video because I've literally got that much left. <laughs> but I usually, I'm always stocked up because I always just pop into Boots on my lunch break. Obviously I haven't been actually in the office so I haven't been able to pick it up. I'm gonna have to order it. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to fill in my eyebrows. But I use the, again, NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil. This is my favourite brow pencil. I just think it's really natural and to fill in my eyebrows I just sort of flick the pencil up towards this part of the brow so the beginning bit and then I will be a little bit more defined around the edges so like the towel and stuff I usually get my eyebrows waxed and tinted so I don't really have to do too much to it obviously I haven't been getting that done because I can't yeah I just try and define it towards the end and then sort of make it look a bit more feathery towards the beginning of the brow this makeup has actually been kind of put to use because I'm going to Asda today uh, to pick up some food so I feel like I'm actually kind of putting this makeup to use. If I'm going to be able to make do this towel of my brow, like this brow pencil is completely gone. Okay, I think that's the best I can do because this pencil is completely gone now. But yeah, you get kind of the gist of what they use. I mean, you'll see in my other videos what they usually look like. They're, they're usually a little bit better than this. But obviously, I haven't really got any pencil left, so I'm going to have to order a new one of these. I feel like with, this is, I'm going back to the concealer, but with wearing concealer as well, I feel like you, you keep that natural glow to your face. When I put on like a foundation, even if I use like a glowy primer or whatever, a highlight, it just never really gives that like true natural skin look, if you know what I mean. Or am I just talking rubbish probably? But I feel like when you just wear concealer, you give, you sort of have your natural skin look still there. So to set my eyebrows, I use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I just push them up because my eyebrow hairs are so straight. Like I feel like most eyebrow hairs are curly, but mine are so straight and they just like point downwards. So I need to kind of push them upwards. So I also contour a little bit to give my face a little shape. And I've used this contour kit for years. It's just my favorite. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. But obviously, as you can see, I only really use this middle one and I use the NARS Eater brush. I bought this years ago when I was like, obsessed with makeup and I used to spend all my money on it. And I think this brush cost me like 50 pounds. So definitely don't feel like you need this brush because I think that's a ridiculous amount of money. But at the time I was like obsessed with makeup, obsessed with YouTube, like makeup on YouTube and stuff. So don't want to do anything too harsh because they don't have like a full face of makeup on. So I'm just gonna lightly brush this underneath my cheekbone just to give a little bit of definition this is also random but i can't stop thinking about it so i haven't really watched any telly during this whole lockdown like, that's one thing i haven't done is really watch any telly or binge anything but i started the full on amazon prime yesterday and i'm already on nearly series three it's only three seasons it is literally so good it's with jamie dornan in you know the one from 50 shades oh my god it's so good like i love it when i'm like hooked on a program because i feel like i haven't had that in ages so that's what i've been binging for the past day i nearly finished it and then i do i do sometimes contour my nose it's not something i do all the time but i think i'm just going to do it lightly today so i just take the same powder and a little angled brush also if you do want to contour your nose i feel like the best the brush that you use making sure it's a little bit fluffy because you can kind of blend it as you're putting the product down so i'm just gonna literally do two lines down my nose and then using that same NARS brush I'm just going to blend this out okay now for eyelashes so I've had quite a few people ask me what I use on my eyelashes I did mention it in one of my my last vlog but just in case you guys hadn't seen that so when I had my eyelash extensions taken off my eyelashes were terrible I didn't have a ton they were really weak they were just like straight out they didn't curl around and they were really short I thought I'd have to get eyelash extensions again because I was like I can't I can't cut these eyelashes but my eyelashes now are the best they've ever been like I've really been trying to like I said be a bit more natural and I wanted to make sure that my natural eyelashes looked really full and I wouldn't need to put false eyelashes on so the serum that I use on my eyelashes is called rapid lash I did talk about it in my vlog um just in case you didn't watch it for anyone asking about my eyelashes this I think has made my eyelashes grow so much obviously they were growing back anyway without the eyelash extensions like the weight of it they're obviously going to come back but this has made them really thick really full and um, I've been using it for about two 
two months now. So yeah, definitely this, I'll just even say what it's called. It's called the Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. So I've been using it for about two months and yeah, my natural eyelashes are the best they've ever been. I think I got mine from, I think I got it from Look Fantastic, I wanna say. But you can get it from like boots and stuff. I think the one I linked down on my other video was from, you can get it on Pretty Little Thing. Um, so yeah, I'll link this down below. Also said this in my vlog, but these are the best eyelash curlers I've ever used. Like, I don't know how to explain that an eyelash curler would be better than any others, but it just is. Like, my little sister, she used this the other day. I was like, just use them because she uses eyelash curlers before her mascara. So she was like, it's just going to be the same. But it wasn't like her eyelashes were literally so curly, and when you curl them, they look so much longer. If you don't own an eyelash curler, I would just get one anyway. But if you do want to spend that little bit more money on one that's really good, I would recommend these. These are the Tweedsman rose gold ones, and I just curl near the root, and it makes your eyelashes so curly, and it actually stays like that rather than sort of flop down in like 20 minutes these are honestly the best things i've ever bought for mascara i've tried a few mascaras since getting my eyelash extensions off and this has been by far my absolute favorite it's the maybelline falsies lash lift it's a soft bristle brush which i tend to not really like but this i just love this one and so i put the mascara on but i also put it on like the other side of my eyelashes if that makes sense like i flip it sort of on the top coat as well to make them look really thick. I actually need to order a new pump, one of these as well as running out. So I just brush it through my eyelashes. I'm sure you all know how to put mascara on. But then I also, like I said, sort of put it on the reverse way around. Just make sure that, because they're so curly as well, it can be difficult to actually brush them on because they're so curled from the eyelash curlers. So putting it on both sides of the eyelashes really helps. I also get it all over my eyelid, but I'll just wipe it off later. Okay, that's literally all over my eyelid, but that's the first coat, so I'm just going to let that dry. And I did put a little bit of eyeliner on, but I don't want it to be like super intense black in my waterline because it looks a little bit too intense. So basically I use this NYX Treasure Lay eyeliner, which is basically a rubbish eyeliner, but by smudging like a rubbish eyeliner, if that makes sense, into your waterline, it sort of gives a smoky natural look because it's not too intense because it's not a very good eyeliner so i'm just gonna smudge this in my waterline and then i'm gonna put some blush on so i still use the same blush it's my favorite blush it's mac extra dimension blush in the shade pleasure model just looks like that this was limited edition but i don't know whether you can actually just oh, get that on its own it just adds like a really nice rosy colour to your cheeks. I feel like a look is not complete without blush, like it just does not look right. So I'll just put some on my apples and then push it back. So for highlight, I never thought I'd say but I'm kind of over the intense like really blinding highlight look. I've just been putting a little bit on my cheeks as I normally would but I don't highlight my eyebrow anymore or my inner corner or my nose or anything that would look more sort of unnatural if that makes sense so i just use a goldy color that's not too intense but still look like i still want to look like i've highlighted my cheeks but not just too much so i use the makeup forever highlight in the shade uh 02 and i just get a little bit on my brush and then i just put it on my cheeks And then I just sort of try and blend in as much as possible. And that's what I do for highlight, which is crazy because I was obsessed with like a really intense highlight. For lips, this is my go-to lipstick at the minute. All my recent videos, this is the lip combo that I have been wearing. So this is Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Coconut. And I do overline my lips so they look bigger. So I'm just going to line my lips and then overdraw them as well. And then for lipstick, all I've been using at the minute is Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in the shade Kim KW. And I just, I don't put tons of this on. I just put on a bit and then kind of blend it with my finger. Because it is quite a pale nude. Then I am going to put on another coat of mascara and just do a little bit on my bottom lashes. And I'm just going to take a cotton bud, I forgot what they were called then, and then I'm just going to 
wipe off all of that dried mascara off my eyelids because I honestly suck at putting mascara on, it goes everywhere. And that is the makeup. This is the makeup that I wear in all of my YouTube videos. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it at the minute because I'm not going anywhere. But this is the makeup look that I was wearing as well when I was actually leaving the house before lockdown. But yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. I hope you found this video helpful for anyone who was interested in any of the products that I use. Like I said, I will link all the products down below in case any of you are interested in ordering any of them. Do give this video a thumbs up if you like makeup videos and it's something that you're interested in. I haven't really filmed much makeup videos on my channel, to be fair, but I guess I don't do anything sort of crazy anyways but do give it a thumbs up if you enjoy makeup videos and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye